All right, I said I was gonna play more of this. I'm not digging this one. Uh, so let's go pair. Let's go with pair of swordsmen. Let's just go big beef men. Okay, swordsmen might actually be really good. That AOE is insanely good. Yeah, for people unfamiliar with how I do indie, indie game lightning rounds, all of these are meant for, uh... All of these videos... Ooh, swordsman already. Jester. Versus five nearby enemies for six seconds, they'll explode into three knives on death. Interesting. Uh, obviously not going to mess with it because can't afford it anyway. Does the cleric not heal? It does a little bit. Damn. Okay. So Swordsman doesn't do quite enough damage. But he does a lot. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so when I do an indie game lightning round, all of it is meant for YouTube and it takes a little bit of time. Well, not a little bit of time, but uh, to save myself time so I don't have to like cook up an intro after outro after the fact, Hunter is a forcer. Which is considered a warrior. Okay. It was just... No. Forcers are different. Okay. I think I got all the money back. I think that only cost you. Uh, but yeah, to save time, I do the outro in, in the middle of the stream. Which I realize gets everybody every single time. But saves me a lot of effort. So yeah, does the cleric not heal? I think the cleric does heal, I just don't know how much. I might want to invest in it anyway. Have that be my seventh. I was hoping I could find another good seventh. Yeah, Swordsman AoE is bigger than the wizard. It, it true. But it's centered around him. It's not a projectile. So I have to stay close. I know the cleric heals for 20% when a unit is 50 or less. I just didn't know if it... Uh... Ooh, temporal chains. I I just didn't know if it triggered... Okay, there's the saboteur. We also have the elementor. 14 AoE damage in a large area centered around a random target. I mean, alternatively, we just go all in, potentially sit, sell the uh, swordsman later on. Let's just do that. Let's get a couple of nukers. Oh my god! That saboteur dies fast, but... Oof. Okay. So what's the, uh, nuker? Area damage in size to allied nukers. So we want to get another nuker, probably. Unfortunately, it seems like a rare class, maybe. Um... Do I keep investing in the warrior? Oh! Deals 11 damage in an area with more damage per unit hit. That's kind of tempting. Yeah, let's keep leveling up this, this warrior for the heck of it. But yeah, nukers seem good. I think they're just kind of rare and expensive. Immediate problem, though, is by making this train longer, 
I've turned the warrior into something kind of uh, useless. I'm too big to navigate, and I'm not pulling off my AoEs nearly as well. There we go. So what do we got? Sage. Is a nuker. Alright. And we also have the flagellant. 20 damage to self and grants 4% damage to all allies on cast. Interesting. Alright. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna sell that. We've got Rogue, Conjurer, Nuker, and one Mage. Mages are okay. But now we've got the Nuker bonus. Let's just go with this. Well, that went poorly. Okay, so immediate problem with this. Ugh. Damn it. Immediate problem with th that strategy is I need something that shoots more regular shots. Without that, I'm in trouble. So do I want to go a Vagrant? Vagrant is certainly nice. Let's go with Vagrant and Archer again. Yeah, I needed I need something with better. You know what? Let's restart run. I'm not interested in that one. I want to go scout. I feel like going hard on scout is going to be high on my list. Hey, thank you, Green Swamp Man, for the 17 month resub. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this this feels better. Okay, so now we've got a mage and an enchanter. Uh So we got we got two mages and the scout. I'm gonna keep the scout. I think Scout is really good. But yeah, having that Enchanter for the attack speed bonus, especially with my knives, might work generally better for me. There we go. Saboteur. Like, I like the Saboteur. It's solid. Also a rogue. But I think I'm going to ignore it. I think we'll just stick with what we've got, at least for now. Yeah. Now we just have to hope that we get enough scouts. to actually make those knives into something beastly. Eek. It's okay. Got a lot of extra HP. I can weather it. Oh, sweet Bessie. This got bad. Why are there so many of you? Okay. We lived. We're good. Okay, Ballista, extra damage to rangers and rogues. Crits from rogues do eight times damage. Nope. Periodically. Oh, deal ten times damage to all enemies where X is how many mages you have. Well then. It kind of solves a lot of problems.
So now I can really play keep away. Yeah, so it's just that lightning shot. Holy shit, that's effective. I don't like the fact that the AoE is front and center. That's throwing me off. Uh, let's see, no, don't care about either of those. I should look at, into a uh, Psyker at some point. There we go. Gosh, that's incredibly good. Just gotta get more wizards. There we go. Okay. Launcher. All nearby enemies are pushed... After four seconds, dealing 22 damage and a wall hit. That'd be interesting. But no. Need some more wizards. Okay, and I think this might be the elite. That said... Ow. Get a speed boost here. Shit. Damn it. <sighs> yeah, it just wasn't enough. All right. Going scouts. It's... That elite fight is rough. Like, I need more AoE than I have. The Cryomancer, I think, was the biggest weak weakest link there. And probably should have just put it in the back. Yeah, mages are pretty good. I just... That specific fight is tough. I think this is why, partly, you want to have clerics around. Imagine how much easier this would be with healing. Yeah, probably. And what I really want to go for is the Conjurer build that has the healer that summons the healing totem. Because I feel like that would be probably the best. Because I'm not actually sure if the... whoops. If the cleric heals periodically, if it attacks periodically. Because I know its ability is to specifically... Its ability is to heal if you drop below a certain point, which is good. Let's see. Cursor's in the middle of the screen at the moment. Yeah, I, uh... Okay, so we now have a voider. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so the main thing is, we need something that slows down enemies. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Kinda. That is certainly effective. Oh, some kind of pusher with this would actually work really well. I'll keep an eye out. Every round, one mage is granted 100% attack speed and damage for that round. That's interesting. I'm gonna go Centipede, though. Hey, are you liking it? This game is hard, Rito. It's very hard. I like it a lot. 
Alright, let's let's get a cleric just for the sustain. Yeah, I'm just not sure what the cleric's regular action is. Like there's there's the heal ability. So that might be the only healing that the cleric does. Oh, the blue guys explode. That's new. Made arena clear, but we're not done. What? Where'd they go? I have no idea. All right. Curse of five nearby enemies. They explode into knives. Sure. Yeah, cleric does nothing if no one is hurt. Yeah, I figured as much. So... I will keep that in mind. Okay. There we go. The AoE on this is kind of fun. If I can actually make it bigger and do more damage, I think we'd be in a really strong position. Because as it stands, I'm, I'm risking myself pretty hard. Just leveraging it. Oop. Oh gosh. Okay, that's just the rogue. There we go. And went Rogan Hunter and blew everything up big time. Good to know. I do have another mage. Let's see, Pyromancer AoE further back. Could help the enemies better. It's true. Because, yeah, as it stands, I'm not doing enough damage. Yep. Kill me. This run is interesting. I feel like Pyromancer is good later. And Cursor is like big risk. Maybe don't do. Okay. Well, this is different. Does Squire even attack? No. Like, the extra defense is nice. Well, let's not do it. Well, I got a pair of Vagrants right off the bat. Let's let's go Vagrant. Vagrant bores me. We want... Well... Okay. I almost feel like Swordsman needs to be on the back. Let's go here. Yeah, I really want to do like a rogue build, but like as soon as I actually tell myself I want to go rogues, the game is just like no rogues for you. Because, yeah, the Swordsman absolutely deletes. Especially in groups. There we go. Yeah, I forgot to unlock if that matters. It does matter. That's okay. I don't have a whole lot of money anyway. If I can get that perk that slows enemies down tremendously, that would be lovely. Or maybe like an enchanter. There we go. Ow. 
I mean, at least the warrior has... Madcap bonus defense, but oof. Okay, there we go. It's just very slow. Curse duration, movement speed, knockback force. Knockback would be interesting. Let's go knockback and see if I can get some knockbackers. Well, there we go. Oh, it is a forcer. Yeah, let's do it anyway. Whoa. Okay. Oh. It's like a curse. Okay, that's kind of really cool. That's really cool. There we go. Uh, let's see. Spellblade. Throws knives that do extra damage, pierce and spiral outwards. Otherwise, we go Vagrant. I'm going to go Vagrant. I'd love to go Spellblade. It seems incredible. However, very much not this build. Okay, let's just... Well, that kind of worked. Yeah, the the delayed physics is rough. Because I need that sooner than later. Especially with the green, green speed dudes. Like, it's funny, but it's just most enemies are dead by the time that triggers. There we go. Let's see. At least it looks like I can get all of the level ones back. Huh. So in that case, change of idea. Go long train of cheap units early, especially for this elite fight. Okay. Here's an idea. What if I just kill the elite by absolutely bodying the guy? Where'd he go? Wait, what? Okay, I got it. Divine pu punishment, so that's mages. Extra AoE damage. Crits from rogues. I don't have a lot of mages. I guess I'll go AoE damage. Okay, so I'm gonna sell the archer. We'll keep the vagrant. I'm actually super not interested in the... Uh, the launcher. It seems just kind of bad. So I'm just gonna get rid of him. Grab those two. Okay, barbarian. AoE damage and stuns enemies hit for four seconds. That's really good, actually. Okay, let's try that.
Okay, so now my butt is deadly. Kind of up in there. There we go. Oh! So the cleric will just repeatedly heal the same dude over and over again. I thought for a while that the cleric would only just heal them once. Because, I don't know. I. I think it's... Ow. I think it's seriously safe to blame, like, League of Legends for that one. That heal effects usually don't trigger repeatedly, maybe? I don't know. Okay, get another Swordsman. Cleric, let's go for a reroll. Hello. Host. Swarmer. Spawns a small critter. That's incredible. That said, we now are at Warrior 5. That sounds good. Okay, so now my butt has become considerably more deadly. I am a living AoE. there's a, uh, there's a perk that makes my guys overlap more. And big yes on keeping Cleric around for all future runs. Just having, just having one Cleric to just heal up slightly injured parts is huge. I don't know. I... I feel like I've learned a lot about this game, and it's going to make this tremendously easier. There we go. So, Hunter... no. No. Like, Engineer sounds like it would be incredibly interesting. Let's not do that. There's some wizards. There's another swordsman. Lich. Seems damn good, but no thank. There we go. A neat idea for a game. Swarmer sounds like it could be fun. Yeah, I'll definitely want to try that out later. This went bad. I was waiting for them to come at me. But they're... They're the white ones. Okay. It's got spooky. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I did decently well with that one, but it wasn't quite there. That's fine.